Hi, my name is Eugene and I'm quickly going to take you through the assembly and the self-built um, navigation tower I've made over the last month. Um, starting this as a project from scratch, the idea was to build an aluminium very light uh, navigation tower for my 2015 KTM 690 um, Enduro. But I had a couple of very specific criteria that I was looking for. One of them was it had to be very light. I didn't want a solid um, built um, structure. It had to aesthetically look nice in the sense that it must look very similar to the Dakar 2017 bikes with the screen and the panels. Um, then the third criteria was I didn't want to change any of the native panels on the bike. Um, I didn't want to take anything off and replace it. In case I want to sell the bike, I might want to put the old uh, screen and light and everything back on. Um, and then yes, yeah, so <clears throat> this has taken me about a month. Um, I started designing from scratch um, on a computer. I then sent the designs to a cutting firm. They basically laser cut and bent my designs for me. We've assembled it. And what's interesting is that the whole navigation tower basically consists of only three components it's got the the 450 um, KTM screen that I bought from KTM this is sort of the only the only KTM portion then it's got the aluminium assembly which consists of three plates um, aluminium plates that are, are laser cut and and bent um, to form this and then the third component uh, are the lights that goes in front and the lights um, We've also bought aftermarket, they are 3,400 lumens each, so they're extremely bright. And we've done some preliminary testing on this, and it seems to work incredibly well. We've got a very big open space, and I'll quickly take you for a walk around um, and explain the design. And then later on in the video, I'll take you through my engineering drawings and some of the assembly videos I've taken. The first thing of the criteria that I wanted was to ride with a clear screen, the 450. This is a 450 um, rally replica screen, as you find on the Dakar bikes. Um, and that was one. The main reason for that is that I wanted to keep the everything visible. So if I'm standing and riding on the bike, um, you'll see I can see through the sides here. I've got full visibility of my fender. Um, and if I turn this, so it's a very clear view. So just quickly taking you around, there we've got the mounting bracket. Um, it mounts with a U-bolt and a, a setting, a, a tightening bolt with a bracket. What's really cool is that this bracket here goes behind the um, ignition switch, meaning that you don't really need to change anything here. You might need to do a little plastic cutout or so, but it's not nothing major. Then if you look at the tower itself, it's made from 4.5 LU. Um, currently this is only temporarily painted, um, but I'll get back to that. The display panel is now very clearly mounted in front, again for visibility. It's lifted a little bit higher than the tower and I've got a whole range of button controls there, brackets, um, charging points, everything. The indicators are set inside in case you fall, um, which makes it very convenient. Um, this also forms one part of my criteria was to have the bike look as if it's one body piece. So I'm quickly going to indicate that must basically be one and it must be quite thick. So if in the new year we will basically put on a sticker kit that covers the whole thing that will basically round off the whole design and it will take the, the focus on the black and white panels off. Okay. So um, on the side, you'll see I have done a little cutout there saying 690, which is I think it's quite cool. Um, the lights, we don't really have a lot of options from an affordability point of view, but I was able to find these um, LED lights. This has got a, a clear screen on and this has got a, a yellow screen on. They are each 3400 lumens. They are made of steel, so they dissipate the heat quite well. They are a little bit on the small side. Um, I would have preferred a 75 mil light in this case these are 65 or, or 60 mil lights um, not a major major problem but they are extremely bright what works quite well is that the yellow light <laughs> which i realized afterwards makes quite an interesting line with my um, handlebar mount okay so 
on this side very similar to the other side um, you'll see it's clear indicator on the inside mounted there and I'm quickly going to take you around to my seating position where you'll see this is basically where I'm looking at the Honda and um, yeah so there's my control so on a standing position this is really cool